Oh, guys, now this is a very, very good card. Martin Erdegaard has got a 98-rated footies. Let's put him into a team and let's review him. Well, guys, this Martin Erdegaard is absolutely bonkers from top to bottom. From the card, from the SPC price, he's really, really expensive. Five-star, five-star, five-foot-ten, high-medium, and controlled explosive. In terms of play styles, this is what I love about him. If you guys follow the channel, you'll know why already. Finesse Plus, amazing. Dead ball silver, very nice as well. Incisive silver, ping pass plus. Long ball pass silver. Tiki taka plus, beautiful. Whip pass, first touch, flare, and Travella silver. With also technical plus. Of course, for me, Tiki taka is absolutely insane. He can play cam, centre mid, and centre forward. And for me personally, looking at his base card stats, and I had a little look at his in games as well, this card should be played as an attacker. Now, he's got good pace. Bit of an interesting split, but as I always say, you want acceleration over sprint speed. You can see the chemistry that we have applied as well as a Hort. So he's up to 99 acceleration and 95 sprint speed. His shooting is actually really good. It's his penalties that are bringing it down. With the Hawk applied, he's up to 99 attack positioning, finishing, shot power, and long shots. That is wild for this card. In terms of passing, 99 maxed out vision, 96 crossing, 96 free kick accuracy, 99 short pass, 97 long pass, and 92 curve. His dribbling is just... Yeah, his agility and balance and reactions are a little bit low. But ball control max out at 99. He's also got 95 dribbling and composure, which is certainly good enough. Defensively, he's okay as well. So if you want to play him as the kind of attacking midfielder in a 4-3-2-1, you can. But for me personally, I think he's a lot better higher up the pitch. He's okay physically as well. The Hawk applied even more so. 99 jump in. He's already got 99 stamp. 84 strength and 99 aggression i really really do like the look of this card like to an insane level we're going to be playing him as the right center forward in their three four two one on just a forward so let's get into a few games and see what we can do here is game number one coming up with martin erdegaard and let me tell you man i'm expecting seriously good things yes erdegaard first touch of the ball good strength there as well it's going to be a foul we're about unlucky not to get through there though here we go with erdegaard again sprint boost and we're going to go on the inside and we're going to look for that finesse Oh, good save, actually, from Schmeichel. Here is Erdogan again. Good dribbling. Good tiki-taka. And Martin Erdogan's in. So delayed, though. The gameplay is so bad. Here is Erdogan again. Got plenty of space here as well. Good pass, man. He is going to be incredible. I'm telling you right now. Into Erdogan again here. He's got space. Oh, he does still feel really, really weak. Not that you really expect too much strength from him, but he is super weak still. He's got space all the time. You know, he makes the space as well because of how good his dribbling is. It's a lovely pass, guys. Remember, he doesn't have incisive plus. He doesn't have incisive plus. What a finish, by the way. He's early again. Five star, five star as well, remember. So he can pass on both feet now, which is awesome. Early, can he find that? It's a lovely pass. In oh, man, guys. The passing... The passing is serious. This guy's going to get out of here, so let's get into another game. Here is game two with Martin Erdegaard, and this guy doesn't have a team. Here is early first touch in this game. R1 dribbling is insane, by the way. Really, really tight. We're going to try and flip this as well. It's a lovely pass over to Navas. Oh, no, no, God. Is he on? He is on. Inside. Oh, guys. Let me tell you something. If you don't know how good Tiki Taka is yet, you're about to find out with this card, I'm telling you. Oh, we've got a score. The gameplay is so heavy. Erdegaard. I see him. Good movement from him, actually. Ball into him now. There's that Tiki Taka, and it's 1-0 off the Tiki Taka pass, guys. I am telling you, this card is amazing. Listen, guys, this is one of them ones which, if you want to have fun on the game and you want to abuse the really, really underrated play styles, th this is the card, man. This is the card. I love Erdegaard in real life as well, I have to say. Here he goes. Oh, yeah. Oh, is it in? Oh, I thought that was going. Martin again. Little one around the corner. And that's what I mean, guys, about his, you know, the Tiki Taka is just so vital. Early. Oh, look at that turn. That was insane dribbling, guys. Insane dribbling. Oh, my God. We could have scored an absolutely outrageous goal there. Jesus Christ. Early goal again. Find that, please. Lovely, lovely pass. Oh, what has Jinnah done there for me, though? Back into Erdi straight away. Erdegaard! Good save. 
Okay, he's up against Bon Matty, so it's not going to be super easy. Oh, what a finish. Here is the final game with Martin Erdegaard. Let's go. And these servers are cooked, by the way, guys. I don't, I don't know what on earth EA have done to the game as of late, but it, you can't complete SBCs at 6 p.m. You can't look at that. I didn't even aim that there. Nice, Erdegaard. Good pace there as well. We're looking for Ginola. That's a poor pass. I feel like he should be able to make that. I tell you something, guys, as well. The way some of these people are playing this game at the minute makes me feel sick. That is an assist for Erdegaard. I have to say, guys, overall, this card is uh, he is special, man. As, as I say, one of my favourites, if not my favourite on the game, 100%. He just has all of my favourite play styles on the game as pluses. You know, and his through balls feel like incisive plus plus. It just is a, a great card with great qualities. And here he is picking up the ball again here. Of course, you can look for that through ball wherever you want. He's got that option. You know, it feels like incisive pass plus, even though it isn't. Uh, the guard, find that, please. Good ball over. Yeah, look at that pass, guys. He's got that ball on every time. So we go back into him here as well. Good football. Oh, he's done well to get past that. Oh, bad pass, though. Bad touch from Haaland, actually. Here's Erdy again. So dangerous in this game, man. He's been so dangerous every game we played with him so far, to be fair. His technical dribbling is outrageous. As you kind of expect. And then you've got that finesse shot. Chance! Oh, it's off the post. I think, guys, you'd be really, really silly, even at the price he is, to not do this card. I feel like what he offers is, you know, th th this feels like, honestly, one of the best cards on the game. I, I, I don't know how to describe it other than that. <sighs> Good dribbling. Good pass as well. Virgil just has that aura there, doesn't he? Oh, Ooh, the dribbling. Oh, look at him. Look at him, he's just avoided how many tackles find that pass. Oh my god! That is insane from Erdegaard! Alright guys, my review is in on 98 footies Erdegaard. And listen, man, this card is outrageous. He's out of this world good. Honestly, as I said multiple times in the gameplay, I think this is my favourite card on FC24 right now. He kind of has everything that I want in a player in terms of play styles. You know, finesse plus, he's got insane finesses. No doubt about it. I actually quite like dead ball now as well. And to be able to do the corners into Haaland with Erdegaard is perfect. Having every pass in play style, and more specifically having the two pluses that he has here, Tiki Taka Plus is criminally underrated. It just is. And Ping Pass Plus is very good. If you play a bit further up the pitch as well, you'll get a bit more utility out of that. His incisive passes feel like incisive plus. His over the tops feel like long ball pl pl pass plus. That simple. Uh, with pass, we didn't do too much with him, but his crosses are okay as well. Technical plus is just wild with this card. You know when you do R1 and R2? That level of technical dribbling with him is just unbelievable. This card is absolutely insane. The 5-star, five 5-star five means he can pass on both feet now. And finesse on both feet is just awesome. His pace is probably the worst thing about him because he doesn't have rapid or quick step plus. But with his dribbling being so high, his sprint boost does still feel quite good. Shooting is unbelievable. Like, actually unbelievable. You wouldn't expect it to feel so good. But they've really, really juiced that to a point, you know, where he's essentially got... It's not even essentially. He has got 99 attack positioning, finishing shot power, and long shots. That's crazy. The best thing, the absolute best thing about this card, though, obviously, and you probably expect it, is the passing. Wow. He is the best passer I've used on this game by some considerable distance whether that be a short pass whether that be an over the top whether that be an incisive through ball he has got it all in his locker and it is so good to play with the dribbling as we've already talked about insane i uh, can't really fight with dribbling at all and then you've got the defending which we didn't really feel too much uh, i do still think you could play in that uh four three two one role or if you wanted to play in a four two three one i might just said that twice but i meant the four three two one as the right or left center mid you can certainly do that and get forward. And then the 4 2 3 one, he could play as a secondary pivot, the one that goes forward more. He can certainly play that role as well. But beware of one thing that is bad about this card, and that is his strength. He is super, super weak. But this is a 10 out of 10 card, 100% every day of the week from me. Go and get him. You will not regret it. This card is absolutely amazing. Guys, if you enjoyed today's video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell. So you're going to miss a player review. But guys, that's going to be it for me for now. So take care.